we do want to separate science fiction from science. There's a lot of people who are creating sort of long-term scenario in terms of existential risks and so on, which quite frankly make good science fiction, mm -hmm. but it's difficult to treat them with like a very rigorous scientific principles, which is not to say they can't enter the conversation. Mm -hmm. There is space to look at hard problems from different disciplines. Right. Mm -hmm. But I'm mostly trained as a scientist. Therefore, I want to be able for each of my vectors of risk to have a way to measure them. So we look at how would we measure the prevalence of that risk. Mm -hmm. And then the notion of differential risk is you measure prevalence of risk without the availability of the model. And then you measure prevalence of the risk with the availability of the model. Okay. Right. And so I'll give you a really concrete example. At some point, we developed a model that was able to do voice synthesis. So you would record a really short snippet, and out of that, the model could be trained to synthesize speech in your voice in a way that was very natural sounding. Mm -hmm. And so here the risk vector is impersonation. Can mm -hmm. someone use this model to impersonate you and then use your identity for various things such as, you know, uh, financial fraud. Yeah. Now, in this case, we've identified the risk vector. We know how to measure it, meaning like, will someone be fooled by hearing the voice that comes from the synthesized voice? How well can you synthesize voices without this model mm -hmm. versus how well can you synthesize voices with that model? Mm -hmm. The step after that is to look at mitigations. Mm -hmm. How can you mitigate the risk on the original model or pre-model existence? versus with the model if you're able to sufficiently mitigate the risk. For example, if you can add watermarking to the voice mm -hmm. in a way that you can create authentication mechanisms, mm -hmm. then you're less worried about it. So that's really, this is this notion of, of differential risk. This is how we think about it. In that specific case of, of the voice synthesis model, at the end, we decide not to release that model openly. It was ready to go, but actually we found that the risk was too great. We weren't able to mitigate the and watermarking techniques on voice were not sufficiently mature. Right. And so that just wasn't a responsible thing to do. So mm -hmm. instead, we shared it with a small number of academic researchers who could help us develop the right mechanism for, mm -hmm. for watermarking or other, or other safety, safety techniques. 